Hi guys, this is Ben from 606X, and today I'll be explaining our drivetrain and catapult. So, as you can see here, uh, we have our Delrin skirts covering the sides and back of our robot. Uh, we custom cut, uh, laser cut our logo into the front of the catapult, or sorry, the back of the catapult. And then we have uh, these custom uh, shapes of the Delrin sheets. Um, one thing we wanted to make sure was that we could climb over the logo. So we have these little raises on each side so we can climb over the logo nice and easy. Um, and yeah, overall they look super clean. Use black screws just to keep everything consistent and it prevents people from like jamming stuff into our drivetrain. Um, so yeah, if you wanna see the gearing, we'll flip the robot over. And as you can see, we use uh, 72 tooth gears meshed with 48 tooth gears. And the way we combined our six motor drive is pretty interesting. So we use a three stack here, one, two, and three, uh, on the drivetrain, and one, two, three here to make six motors. Um, and then we meshed all the, the gears together with 36 tooth gears. So if you can see here, we actually uh, bolted the 48 tooth gear to the 36 tooth gear. So it's being driven on the same shaft, but this one is just a smaller gear radius. And then if you flip the robot over here, you can see that we have a 36 tooth here and a 36 tooth under there. So you can see sort of one, two, three. And then they're all driving uh, this one shaft here, which is connected to the rest of the wheels. And you can see each wheel is connected pretty well. There's no wheel slippage individually. So that's pretty great. Um, we wouldn't recommend this because it's extremely hard to change like the hot swap, all these three motors, uh, just because like how compact they are and the vertical nature and the, it's not the most efficient uh we left this space empty in the robot because we had an odometry pod you might have seen our youtube short but we took it off because uh, we weren't using it and it just added extra weight so we can move over to the catapult uh it's a pretty standard catapult 84 tooth slip gear 60 tooth slip gear in there and then a 12-tooth driving gear on a 100 RPM motor right here. So the 100 RPM drives a 12-tooth, which uh, drives a 60-tooth, which slips occasionally, and then this makes the catapult fire. So right here, our catapult ratchet is engaged. So if I push the catapult down, you can hear the, the clicks and listen. That's each click of the ratchet uh, moving to a new step, and then um, if you could zoom in on this ratchet right here, that's where our ratchet is. That one screw, so you can see it sort of. And then, uh, so yeah, so that holds the catapult down. If I release the ratchet, it slides back up on its own. Then that's a catapult. Banding's pretty simple, just from here, down there, and then attach the back. No banding on the catapult, just a cylinder. And it's reading 63 PSI, one cylinder, pretty strong. Pull the catapult down, they want to retract with the full force of the 100 PSI. So then when this is engaged uh, in autonomous period, we are able to shoot further because it basically has additional air power wanting to pull it back like that. Uh, and then we, when we disengage it, we just have like a, a disconnected port on the bottom here, it's not connected to anything. So there's, they act as dead weight. Um, yeah. So it's pretty, pretty useful trick for uh, making the catapult score in both autonomous period and driver period pretty well. Yeah, for our limit switch, we have uh, the automatic drawback of the catapult, so it draws back. Here's the limit switch. So it basically presses that, and then uh, the catapult's in its loading position. We have like code that automatically draws back the catapult. 
pretty simple. Um, and then our hard stop here, we did it pretty uh, weirdly because it's like convenient for us, but it basically hits these two spacers are, are raised up from the C-channel and they hit this uh, box piece of uh, angles. It works pretty well. You know, we've dried fired it like hundreds of times and it hasn't broken or snapped or anything bent or at all. So wouldn't recommend. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, our catapult's super secure to our, our frame is connected in three ports. So, or three points, I'm sorry. Uh, so it's like not bending at all. But yeah, that's uh, that's the explanation. Thanks for watching. Good luck and spin up. So a quick little note here. Uh, we actually tuned our, our uh, drivetrain friction to be pretty good. Uh, it runs at like uh, less than half a watt. So it's, the free spin is pretty good. This is with all six motors connected um, on both sides. So yeah, this is just done by adjusting spacing and um, making sure all your bearing flats are aligned. So yeah, no drivetrain friction is nice.